I think it's always a surprise to people to understand quite how many tomatoes are grown in the UK. And one of the key differences between imported fruit and British fruit is the fact, as you can see, it's harvested very red and has the flavour that other fruit doesn't have. I'm immensely proud of what we grow here. Uh, the tomatoes that we grow, I think the consumer doesn't realise sometimes quite the effort that goes into uh, taking out those tomatoes. I mean, apart from anything else, we are picking them here and they're on the, on the shelf within 24, 36 hours of being picked so they can't get any fresher. But also the effort that goes on the, behind the scenes, the technology and the number of people to be involved, the training that's involved. Yeah, it's, it's a real team effort and a real passion for everybody involved. We grow tomatoes across the UK. We've got uh, 250 football pitches worth of glasshouse across the UK. The environment, particularly as outlined in the Fed Tractor Standard, is critically important to us. I mean, we use energy and carbon dioxide as a waste product from, from power generation. We use water that we've caught from the glasshouse roof. We minimise pesticide use. All of those things are absolutely entwined with the standards and expectations of the Fed Tractor Standard. We capture our water as rain falls on the glasshouse roof, we store it in reservoirs and then it gets pumped back onto the crop. We use particular irrigation so we use very precise amounts applied and then we also measure the amount of water that there is around the root zone in real time, all automatically controlled. Because we have a glasshouse environment we're able to control what happens in that environment and that includes how we control pests. By using friendly insects, if you like, we can vastly reduce the amount of pesticides that we have to use almost to zero. We employ British bumblebees to help us pollinate our tomato crop. Uh, what that allows us to do is to make sure that every single flower turns into, into a tomato and turns into a tomato that's the right shape. They're wonderful little insects. One of the challenges that we've got, our British tomato growers, is to try and to satisfy year-round demand for our product. Nice problem to have, but it is a problem in the depths of winter. And the solutions to that we've found in recent technology is to use LEDs. And the idea of the LED is that you only use a small amount of electricity to give the, just the light wavelength that the crop wants to allow us to grow tomatoes year-round. The changes over the last sort of 10, 15 years have been absolutely remarkable. We're even taking the waste leaves that we take off the plants each week now and turn that into packaging. I mean, some of the ideas and some of the concepts that we've taken are just amazing over that short period of time. I'm a huge tomato fan. Yes, I, uh, I know the ones I like and the ones I don't like, but I love tomatoes. I like the small, the small sweet ones uh, more than the larger ones. But yeah, I have a huge appetite for tomatoes.